What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How's everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got a few news stories for you, so let's just dive right in. Our first story of the day has to do with the Galaxy S22 Ultra phone and the camera. It looks like it's been improved in the latest beta update that is rolling out in One UI 5. So Ice Universe is post posting a couple of tweets out there saying major discovery. One UI 5 incorporates the August camera update. The S22 Ultra camera is back and great HDR and colors are back. Oh my God, are we? have we waited half a year? Samsung finally resolved the HDR and color issues. And then he shows a couple examples on the left and the right 4.1 uh, versus One UI 5 beta, I think it's two or three. He also put out another tweet says Samsung adjusted the color HDR of One UI 5's 22 Ultra and Fold 4 to be indistinguishable. Because before he was saying the Fold 4 actually looked better. Basically the same, but after all, the Ultra sensor is better and has a little advantage in details. So. If you're, if you got the S22 Ultra and you have the beta, look for the update. My phone's dead right now, so I, I haven't checked for it, but you should have it if it's already rolling out. If not, you'll have it later, and then when it's gonna officially be pushed out, that will be probably October or, October or November when you actually get it on your phone if you're not in the beta. Next story of the day has to do with this big, gigantic tablet, the Galaxy Tab S8, S8 Plus, and S8 Ultra. As you know, it runs 4.1, but 4.1.1 is rolling out right now, which is the same software as the Galaxy Z Fold 4. So what are you gonna get with that? Well, you're gonna get a couple of things. You're gonna get the taskbar at the bottom that everybody either loves or hates, I guess. And then you're also gonna get the easier multifunction ability. So uh, when the update, I checked my tablet, I don't have it. It looks like it's rolling out in Europe and in South Korea. But basically, all you can do is click and drag uh, an app that you want up from the bottom. It's very easy. And then let go. And you have much easier multitasking. So that's going to come to your tablet. It's rolling out right now. Hopefully, we'll get it here in America in the next today, tomorrow, the next day. But hopefully, very, very soon because it is rolling out. Very nice update. It's big, too. I think it's like 2.3 gigs. And our last story of the day, as you can see from this tweet from Ice Universe saying the biggest change of the S23 Ultra is the increase in the width of the middle frame, which means that the curved part of the glass will be reduced. So what does that mean? It means potentially another reason you might want to upgrade, at least I know I would make me want to upgrade, is that the S23 Ultra might be more flat, less curved. It's not even, I mean, it's curved now, but it's not crazily as curved as it was like on the S7 Edge. But you're looking at this being more of a flat display. If they do that too, the phone screen will seemingly feel larger. That's one thing I look back to some of those older phones, even if they're like 5.4 inches, they still look like big displays because they're flat. So I hope they do that kind of almost, or completely flat or almost flat display with these phones. And that'll be your question of the day. S23 Ultra, would you love a flat display? Or do you like the curved display that we have now? Let me know in the comments down below. I understand the curved display might be a little bit easier to hold, but throw a phone grip on there and you're all good. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.